I'm Greg Zanis, and this is the dream car. If you take a look at a car like this, we feel that we're in a road cage. Everything is very heavily padded on the inside of the driver's compartment. The seats now have one solid inch of foam rubber covered with Kevlar. The seat cushion is also covered with Kevlar. If you look inside of the nose cone, we told you about we told you about the bubble wrap. We told you about the airbag before, three solid inches. And, and also, you'll see that everything is covered in foam rubber, also covered in bubble Kevlar. So anything you touch already has one and a half inches to one inch of Kevlar, including the top. And also we've added hydraulics here to help lift the nose cone open. We've also put rubber on the, on the uh, seal here to seal this against weather. We've added this pair of grab bars for easy in and out of the car. You have a place to grab onto. And we uh, also have padded the seat. We've, we've all already shown you that all of the switches are countersunk in case of an accident. Your head or arm will not break up against these switches that it's common that happens on most accidents today. Also, I'd like to show you some of the inside of the dream car. Inside here, we have installed headlights, blinkers, an optional fire extinguisher. We've put bulletproof glass over the headlights and everything inside is I-beams covered with heavy aluminum. If you look into the first compartment here, you'll also notice the wheels are covered with heavy Kevlar. We've added metal over the I-beams. We've installed a car jack to jack the car up. Inside the compartment, you'll see how the dream car works. This is a power inverter that takes direct power and turns it into AC alternating current. This is operating off of this battery. Also, you'll see right here, these are the transformers. There's several, there's three in this particular car that run the neon lights. Next to there, you'll see the conventional Deep Cycle 6 12 volt, I mean 6 volt battery here and here's two of them over here. This car is running off of six six volt batteries that in in series making it a 36 volt system. You'll also notice everything inside is Kevlar coated, every uh, even the batteries are protected against type, type of an impact. If there was to be an impact, there's a cover that covers the batteries to protect the passenger from lead or, and and or acid hitting him. There's also a secondary form of protection, another wall here. These are simulated seal I-beams. They're actually covered with aluminum. These are simulated I-beams covered with aluminum. If you look in the back compartment here, we can show you where the wheels are actually at. They're underneath these protective covers. You can see one of the wheels here. You'll also see a bulletproof glass that protects the wheel from the neon lights. These are the blinkers and tail lights. In the very back of the compartment here, you'll notice we have several chargers. This is a 36 volt charger. This is a 12 volt charger. And back here is another six, uh, 12 volt charger. If you notice what we've done, is we've added switches to turn all these chargers on and or off. Everything's controlled back here. Generally, you don't have to worry about that. Those, these are not on the dashboard items. If you keep looking around here, you'll also see the motor that runs this particular car. This is a very small, what some people call a six inch motor. It's also got a transmission or a gearbox. It's one speed. And, uh, 
what if we were to swap this motor out with a more expensive motor this particular car would go 60 70 miles an hour this car presently does between 15 and 25 miles an hour around the city and up to 40 miles an hour down a hill with a bat wind of course you've heard that term before if you keep moving yourself around this car you'll see our final compartment and inside here is exactly like the other side you'll see the batteries the transformer for the neon the other three batteries this particular battery here runs the headlights and the, and the tail lights and the radio. Everything is divided up. It also is working on this very own charger. In the front here is the final wheel. Underneath this compartment, of course, the other headlight. And, and down below here, you'll be able to see we have vented the car itself with this fan. And, and this is the back of the controller. Inside here you'll also be able to see it's called a pull-out cord. So you can take this car anywhere you want, pull this out, plug it into an existing socket up to a hundred feet away. So this is this this represents all the car. These these all are half inch bulletproof plexiglass. This is made to take on any type of a crash. This plexiglass and this plexiglass are equal. The only difference is this one's white. This is clear. This has a metal banding around it and this has a plastic banding around it. When the car is experienced any kind of an impact this is 12 inches of beaming here all the way around the car this car is made to take on any kind of a crash also inserted into the middle of the beam are neon lights that allow the car to be seen at night and also have a very heavy metal tracking around that to take on any type of an impact this car is a safety car it's made to save your life and uh, along with its being pyramidal in shape, there isn't any stronger type of a shape. We know that. Of course, this is a very ancient, proven, um, mathematical, mathematically correct car. Structurally, you can't find anything stronger than a pyramid. And that's one of the main reasons we built the car we've built, that we built here. And thank you very much. This is Greg Zanis with the Dream Car123.com project.